Hallelujah. Be comforted, people of God. We are going to go home. Be comforted, we are going to go home. Here is not our home. There's one day, one hour of God, when we are here on the earth, and even those who are dead, when we Command I will take her, the you, trumpet of God. When the trumpet of God sounds, when the trumpet of God sounds, there's going to be one morning, or maybe one afternoon, or maybe one night. When when this world we're going to be visitors we're going to be visitors we're going to be lifted we're going to stay in this world but one day one hour there's a trumpet that's going to sound then we shall be lifted this world this world we are staying in is not our home. That's why we should be comforted. That's why we should even comfort our colleagues. Hallelujah. We should comfort our colleagues. Because today, even when we have troubles, even when the world is troubling us, there's one morning we are going to go away. That's why we should be comforted. Even comfort your colleagues. Tell your colleagues that this world is not our home. Be comforted. We are going to go 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 home. May you come for the Lord. May you come for the Lord. Come for the Lord once again. Because it's Lord. Because we are going to go home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us to comfort each other, telling us, telling each other those good words. Comfort your colleague and tell, tell him this secret. Because one morning we are going to go home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is going home among us? Some people might not understand where we are going home and others might be comforted in this world, but I'm telling you one morning we are going to go home to the Father. A lot of people think that going home is through death and people fear death. But going home we are talking about the one we are talking about is living eternal with our Father. When the trumpet sounds, the Bible tells us those who are dead, even those who are still living, we are not going to come before those who are dead. When the trumpet sounds, the trumpet will sound. Those who are dead will be the first to rise. And then they will dress in, no, no, in the body that will not die. And, and for us, we still believe in, will be lifted and meet the Father in heaven. And all of us will go to heaven where we are going to live with the Father. Forever. That, that one, one gives us hope that this world is not our home. Be comforted, saints of God, we are going to go home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, when the world troubles you, tell the world that I'm being troubled for a short while, but one day I'm going to leave you. Amen. Amen. I'm requesting you to hug your colleague who is around you. If it's one person or two or three, and tell that person that be comforted, we are going to go home. Be comforted. You are going to leave this world. That's why we have to fight for the heaven. Because we have a reason. Amen. 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 So One day we are going to go home. I'm also going. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs>
Praise the Lord. If you want to remain here, if you want to remain here, raise your hand and we pray for you and you stay well. Raise your hand if you want to stay. You're going to remain and be, you know, joined with the the uh, Temwe de Jehovah. The de Jehovah. The de Jehovah. For them, they believe that this world, that 144 people who have been pre-selected are going to stay in this world and are going to live in a new world and a new uh, heaven. So if you have that belief also that you are going to stay in this world, you need a lot of prayers. But those who don't believe in that, we believe that one morning we are going to go home. I wish to be on that list of people who are going home. I also wish myself to be on that list because it's a very big appointment. After that appointment, this world is going to face a lot of trouble. And those who are going to remain behind, Many people are going to remain behind are going to have a lot of trouble. And that's where Antichrist is going to rule over this world. Praise the Lord. I thank God because me and you are going to be in the first round. Are going to be in the first round. In the first round. Amen. 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 May the Lord be praised. We thank God for this beautiful evening. The beautiful evening that God has given us. This wonderful week being in the 40 days of prayer and fasting. It's, it's, it's possible that you may not have started with us. We are remaining with only nine days. You can can just enter there and continue with us. And you be in line with that verse that says, <laughs> let me not uh, threaten you. Yes, Praise the Lord. It's possible that you have not been part of us for the 31 days. But you can be part of us for the nine remaining days. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are in the week that says uh, financial restoration. Financial restoration. This is a very wonderful week. All the people should be participating with us so that we can be, we, we can, our finances can be restored. People are very troubled in terms of finances. Many countries are in a crisis, in a financial crisis. This is the week to pray so that God can restore our finances. If you want your finances to be restored, raise your hand. No one, uh, no one doesn't want to be restored. No one doesn't want that. Even one who have need more. That's why all of us need to be restored. The verses of the week are being projected. And actually there's a special, uh, special verse for each day. And Kabin, they are going to give us the, the, the verses for the week. So that every day you read that word and you'll be reminded that this week is a week for re- the restoration of our finances. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, today we need uh, uh, something that is Teobar. Uh, that injection that uh, actually provokes you to give birth. I'm feeling it. I can see it. People are tired. We need to be uh, actually uh, we need to actually to be rescued by God. We need to be rescued by God. Our hearts are troubled. I don't know what is troubling you. But what I know today there is a the, the Lord is able to search our hearts. He is able to give a solution. 
all that is troubling you, I believe there is a solution from God. Be comforted, don't be discouraged. The nine remaining days can be a solution for you. There can be a solution for you. The nine Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Turashima imana kugama matangazo mbere yo gutanga matangazo reka tukwakire wowe nibuteranye natwe ari ubwa mbere za muri kiganza tukwakire mwizina rya Yesu. Before give the announcement we would like to welcome the visitors if it's the first time you are gathering with us may you raise your hand. You might be a visitor. Imana igumushye mugisha mushyo wacu imana igumushye. Reka tubasabe muhaguruke tubakire mwizina rya Yesu. Tunabahobere mwizina rya Yesu. And we hug you in the name of Jesus. Oh, bega byiza imani bawo mugisha mwinshi. It's beautiful it's wonderful. Imani bawo mugisha mwinshi. May the Lord bless you abundantly. Reka dusaba ababegere mu bahobere mu izina rya Yesu. We want to request those around them to hug them on our behalf. Ubi furizi kaze mu nzu y'Imana. And welcome them in the house of God. Turi torero za yon temple. We are Zion Temple Church. Turashima Imana kuba wahageze hano. We thank God because you are able to make it here. Turasaba Imana kugira ngo dukomeze tugumane mu mwuko umwe. We pray that we may continue to partake spiritual religion. Ni bufite ahandi usengera nusubira yuza ba if you have your own church, greet them on our behalf. And if you don't have a church, please, that seat is yours. Asha's are going to give you a paper that gives the, the details of the church, and also you have the opportunity to tell us your details. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going to read announcements. Itangazo rya mbere Alliance Evangelique iratumira abakobwa bisiyoni bose mu giterane cy'abari nabatega rugori kizahuza abari nabatega rugori mu matorero agize Alliance bazahurira hano ku rusengero ku cyumweru itariki 20 kuva sa Saba ni gice kugeza saa 10 z'umugorobano ku rusengero no kuvuga ko abakobwa bisiyoni mwese all the daughters of Zion azabigiterane muza matorero there's going to be an interchurch fellowship amatorero yose aba mu muryango wa alliance all the churches that are member of alliance organization muzahurira hano ku cyumweru gwera saa 7 ni gice kugera saa 10 you're going to gather here between 1:30 and 4 p.m. Hazabari gitera ne chiza cha ne chabari na bategarugori. There's going to be a very good fellowship of ladies. Nuzabure. Don't miss. Kandi mani gumu jisha. And may the Lord bless you as prepared. Uyo wazibga wa koga visioni buboneho no gutumira abadorkas. Abadorkas mge semuri hano nukuvuga. Ababje iba jizibja go bjokura aboba shakanye. Ndetse nabandi babje iba ana muna ama izabatari kichumini kenda ukwezi kwa 12 kwa gatanda tugutaha gwera sa tatu kugeza sa sita za mu gitondo no kuvuga ko muzahurira muri ekodim bazaba biga kuri gahunda zabo zigiye kirekire action plan yibyo bagomba kugendera ho itangazo rindi nuko commission y'igihugu nibande muri twe bagejeje igiye cyo gutora muzamure amaboko abagejeje igiye cyo gutora tuzamura amaboko Ndakeka ko itegeko ryacu ryemerera umuntu ufite imyaka ingahe 18 kuzamuka gutora kujya mu matora I think the Rwandan law allows every person who is above 18 years to vote Hari tangazo rivuye muri commission y'igihugu ya matora ridusaba ndetse ridukangurira kuzitabira amatora ya referendum kwa gatanu gutaha tariki 18 guhera mu gitondo ku biro by'amatora ahantu atandukanye mu gihugu mu karere mu mu mirenge uko dusanzwe tubikora So there's an announcement for the National Electoral Commission that is reminding us to uh, come for the voting of the referendum on uh, Friday 18th of December Mwitabire izi gahunda kuko umukristo mwiza no witabira nibikorwa bya leta We're requesting you to go for the voting because a great Christian actually has to be part of the government programs Imani baho mugisha cyane May the Lord bless you so much Izabari konje nukuzinduka nk'aba Kristo yababibabaje ugiye useta ibirenge cyangwa se ukagenda ukerererwe nyuma yabandi twebwe tuzazinduke dukora iki gikorwa hakiri kare so as a good christian we are many to actually be uh, among the first who are going to be uh, who are going to be voting tuributsa igikorwa cya save a life cyateguwe no rubyiruko rwa Zion Temple Gatenga kigamije gukusanya inkunga ya mituel 
We are also reminding about the action of the youth leadership about Save a Life that uh, is about actually gathering financial support for uh, vulnerable people to pay for the uh, uh, health insurance. Bafite gahunda yo kwishyurira abantu igihumbi bari mu kiciro cy'ambere cy'ubudehe inkunga irakirwa nyuma y'amateraniro kuri reception. So they have a plan to uh, provide financial support to 1000 people vulnerable people in the first and second category uh, so that they can have uh, health insurance. Ikindi turi ibutsa ko bibiliya zizaje. Ya Yesu. Onje rukomera imana yawe amashimwe. Haleluya. Zamuri biganza byawe muri aka kanya. Raise your hand in this moment. Zamuri biganza byawe muri aka kanya. Raise your hand in this moment. Yagusabye ngukora isengesho rimwe gusa. I request you to do one prayer. Tell God to give you strength. Tell God to give you strength. Zamuri isengesho vuga kuti imana mpimbaraga. Raise your voice and request for strength. Zamura nijwirire ngo kuti imana mpimbaraga. Raise your voice and say Lord give me strength. Onje ruga kabiri imana mpimbaraga. Lord give me strength. Onje ruga kadya tumana mpimbaraga. Again give me strength. Onje ruga kanye imana mpimbaraga. Again Lord give me strength. Onje ruga kadya tumana mpimbaraga. Again Lord give me strength. Onje ruga kadya tumana mpimbaraga. Once again Lord give me strength. Ubwa karindwe imana mpimbaraga. For the seventh time, Lord, give me strength. Ubwa kumunane mana mimbaraga. Lord, give me strength. Ubwa chenda mana mimbaraga. Ninth time, Lord, give me strength. Ubwa chumi mana mimbaraga. Lord, give me strength. Subira ubwa chumi. Repeat it, Lord, give me strength. Nishwiri renga. Nishwiri renga. With a loud voice. Vuguti mana. Tell God. Ongeru vuguti mana. Say again, Lord. Ongera mana again lord ongera mana again lord mimbaraga give me strength mimbaraga give me strength dazi keneye we need the strength dazi keneye we need the strength uyu mugoroba this evening gusta gimbaraga i request for strength do van has on fit i feel i'm weak dagushaka I need you Lord. Mimbaraga. Give me strength. Mizina ya Yesu. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mimbaraga. Give me strength. Isiranduhije. The word is troubling me. Alikonda gusabye. But Lord I'm requesting you. Yambi kimbaraga. Lord close me your strength. Mizina ya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Onje rukomera imana amashi menshi cyane. Come for the Lord again. Bichara mukubaho ku Imana. May you be seated in the glory of God. Fatituro ryawe mwizina rya Yesu. Get your offering in the name of Jesus. Fatinebe efata ituro ryawe mwizina rya Yesu. Get your offering in the name of Jesus. Fatituro ryawe. Get your offering. Mwizina rya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Fatituro ryawe. Get your offering. Tujye guturira Imana. We are going to give an offering to the Lord. Kwakira numukozi w'Imana. As we welcome the man servant of God. Evangelist Kibinda. Imana yamushizemo. For what God has placed in his heart. Bwana sifiwe sana. Amen. Bavandimwe. Brethren. Mazi cyumweru ku Kibuye Karongi. I've spent one week in Kibuye in Karongi. Imo kwigisha ijambo rivuga ngo ibihe bine isigiye kunyuramo. Teaching the word of God that says post season that the world is going to go through. Twageze ibihe byiza cyane. We had a very wonderful moment. Abantu benshi barakijijwe. Very many people gave their lives to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kimwe mu bihe muri ibyo bihe bine one of the seasons among the four isigiye kunyuramo. That the world is going to go through. Icyambere one of them nigutotezwa kwitorero is the persecution of the church listen to me clearly satan arimo kuyaranja mu buryo bushoboka bwose the devil is trying as much as possible kutuvanamo umunezero to take away the joy in us kutuvanamo ibyiringiro to take away the faith kutuvanamo amasengesho to take away the hope and prayer kutuvanamo ubusabane bwacu n'Imana to take away our relationship with God mu rusengero so that we come to church intege nka bari muri restaurant to come to church when we are weak as if we are in a restaurant why hari kibazo gikomeye there's a very big problem imbaraga mbiza umwishima zikomeye there's a, a strength of the devil that is beyond our understanding its mission is to remove god among the people of god is to remove hope among the people of god you sit here and you feel that the god you are praying is not listening to you and then you don't praise god and then you don't worship god 
but be comforted. That power of darkness that is coming down, there is more strength. There's double strength that is coming to strengthen you so that you are going to face the, the bad moments that are going to come. Praise the Lord. May the Lord be praised. I feel that people are troubled in a very bad way. I feel that people have no joy. They don't have hope. But be comforted. Our God, that the God has, that selected you is not going to allow the devil to attack us. No, no. We have a God. Our God is still there. Our God, still reigns, is going to fight for us. And we are going to praise God. Amen. Amen. Let's request Azaf to sing one song. As the servant of God comes and uh, getting offerings, as we prepare to listen to the word of God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise in this moment. We give this offering to you. May you bless it in the name of Jesus. Those who don't have, may you provide for them so that they may get what to give next time. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Praise the Lord Jesus. As we still standing, I would like us to have this prayer I feel in me. To ask the Lord to show us his hand this week. May we see the hand of the Lord this week. You pray for your life for this week so that you may see the hand of God. And I will pray as well to, ha- to see the hand of God. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, your people are gathering before you for a long time. They are hearing, they want to hear what you're saying. What you are, how you're talking to our soul. And when we are getting to the evening, I beseech with you, O oh my Lord, humbling myself before your sight, beseeching you for this whole week that we may see your hand a strong hand the powerful hand the power that gives a level that is that is good for we want to be fed by you we need your blessing we need to converse with you we need to hear your voice whispering to us for you are a God that can speak to everyone at the same time Lord we are waiting for you and we, we praise you for you heard us and that you are doing it in the name of Jesus Amen Amen you may be seated. I greet all of you in the name of Jesus. Uh, we thank the Lord, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ that kept us in good moments of prayers. As the moderator said, when he takes long to come, people get weary because of the flesh. The Bible says that blessed is he who waits. For the word of God teaches that in everything, for the word of God teaches that in everything, when we are before his sight, we are not there for vain. Anytime you come here, just keep in your mind that it is not in vain. And I praise or I thank the people who stayed for 31 days keeping on coming here. I am asking a blessing for you from the Lord. Spending 40 days coming before the sight of the Lord and you are hungry I'm telling you the truth, you're not going to go in vain. We are going to ask a blessing, a special blessing for those people. We are not coming in the sight of the Lord as a routine. Whenever we come in the sight of the Lord, we need to go back with something. If not, there is, it will be useless to come and gather together. The Lord we are following is not like we are going to a park. The Lord we are praying unto is not a human being. When you say I am engaging myself of being before the sight of the Lord for such days, know that the Lord is not going to despise anything from that. You just need to know how we came. When you came seeking God, 
the time you can spend how long might be it is accountable before the sight of God yes, may the Lord bless you iki uh, cyumweru kuko babivuze turubuze kuganira cyangwa tuzakemeza tuganire ku ijambo rivuga guhemburwa ku bukungu bwacu this week we are going to talk about the restoration of our finances our economy reka dusome mu bafilipi ndasoma habiri turaza kuvuga ibyo tuzaganira muri iminsi muri iki cyumweru i will read in philippians in two verses and then i will talk about what will be conversing this week aba filipi ibiki bine murongo wa 29 it is in philippians chapter 4 wa 19 nako philippians chapter 4 verse 19 birabwe ngo kandi imana yanje izaba mara ubukene bwanyu bwose kuko ubutunzi bw'ubwiza bwo bwayo buri muri kristo yesu icyubahiro kibiki imana yacu ari nayo data batwese iteka ryose amen Verse 19 says, and my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the theme that we are going to come back on the whole week. Uh, I believe that everyone knows that the fast and praying that we are in, it is Solomon, and everyone has to be here, and it is a command, it is something that we have to do. And we are talking this week about the restoration of finances. How the Lord can restore us in our in our finances. We will look on what, how the finances of a Christian are and how the Bible takes it. And we are going to observe all together how can we do to improve our finances. And we are going to see what is the part of the church for the finances and economy of a country. We will look onto them and we'll find them in the word of God. Before we get into death, to look on our finances, the way it can be restored, and believing well, without any doubt, in the things that the Lord is about to perform, it is to restore our finances. This is a principle. One of the things that I do believe, and I came telling it to myself, it is that the time we are in, the Lord is ready to restore us, and he's going to restore everything with the finances. Are we together? What we are going to look on to it, what is about us, what are we going to do ntego, so that we can reach that goal to, to, to reach that goal? Yes, Adofash. May the Lord help us. I will not enter in the depth of finances. I will come back on prayers. The reason why I'm talking about prayers for we are going to use some prayers elevating our finances. And the second it is that we are in, in prayers and we do need prayers. I will come back on prayers. And the prayers we are going to talk about. Also. You need to write them down somewhere. So we are going to use that, those prayers. What the word of God tells us about the prayers. It is the figure of prayers we need. And then we are going to enter in finances raising. Let's read in Thessalonians. Second. Oh, first Thessalonians. Chapter 5. 
murongo wa 16 tugeze ku 18 we will read verse 16 until 18 mwishime iteka musengo budasiba ubihabujose mubiho bujose muhore mushima kuko ari by'Imana iba yashaka ho muri Kristo Yesu amen be joyful always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is god's will for you in christ jesus this week is a week of praying for our finances and to see how the finances can be raised now we are going to look onto our prayers to help us to understand very well when we come in the sight of the lord to pray let's take our side in two the first it is that we are the sons and daughters of the lord and the lord is our father the second we are servant of god and the lord is our employer when the bible talks about prayers when we come in prayers as children as servants of god amasengesho ni bihe byiza cyangwa ni kadri imana itugenera ngo tuganire nayo nkabana bayo nabakozi bayo prayers are a good moment that the lord creates for us to converse with him as his sons and daughters igiye cyose wumva ko ukeneye gusenga any time you feel you want to pray uje wumva yuko ari kadri cyangwa se ari umwanya uhawe kuganira naso feel that it is a platform that you are given to converse no with your father wow. you are going to discuss with your employer and sometimes when we talk about prayers people take it as a burden but the word of god says that when we are entering prayer we are going in a platform of conversing with our father or we are going to converse with our employer which means prayers are not an administrative task prayers are a, a, a spiritual task though you may not be seated there when you are working at your office the prayers that are real, it is a time you enter in prayer when you are speaking with the father any time you raise your spirit you are praying that's why the, that's why Jesus told the Samaritans told him that this is the time where people are not going to pray on the mountain or not in Jerusalem but the one who pray my father will be this praying my father in spirit the prayers that the lord needs and it's not the behavior not even the words but it is your attitude it is your disposal when you go in spirit maybe you may be your business or maybe you are the office you are more than the person who is in church that is not your spirit because of that time you are connected to the lord and the person is going to stay there what does it mean it is a prayers, when a christian pray it is for every time paul said be joyful every time and pray continually in everything that happens muhore mushima be thankful for this yes. is what the lord needs from us in jesus christ the prayers of a christian shouldn't be in 40 days it has to become a lifestyle it has to be your attitude and your thinking when you are in spirit with God, when you are talking with god when you are thinking about god that's when the Lord wants to, to be there eternally what the Pharisees will deal with Jesus they, they knew how to come in churches they will dress well they will give long speeches they were very eloquent 
ariko umwuka wabo but their spiritual yabo, they are thinking ntabwo bagaba babaga mu muka they were not spiritual they will only talk ni mukeneye kuzusenga neza if you want to pray well Imani shaka yuko mubana nayo mu mwuka The Lord wants to be with you aburi hose wherever you may be Mutabona no mwanya ukuza gusenga When you don't have Ariko zamuka mu mwuka But raise in spirits Ushobora gukora kazi uri musenga You may do your work praying Ugatwara imodoka ari musenga You can drive pray Ukaganira ni Imana utwaye imodoka You can speak with your Lord Yemeye byinshi hari gengana ni Imana ndi mu muhanda Sometimes I'm talking to the Lord when I'm in the Imana iranganiza nkwaye imodoka Lord talks to me when I'm driving Gaparika ku ruhanda inkandiga magambo Imana imbiye And I will go be Sarinze kuja mu cumba Imana ireba cyane Iyo turi muri ibi bihe When we are in such places Tireba ko twirisha gusa Nasoni ziza yuko tuba tugaragaza imana ko ariyo dukeneye. Kurusha ibibyo. Ariko imana ici kureba ho cyane. Nuko ubugingo bwawe. Umakinga ni imana mu mwuka. And your life connects with the Lord in spirit. Mbere yuko ubukungu bugomba guhembuka. Before the finance gets restored. Nuko ubugingo bwawe bugomba guhembuka. Your soul has to be restored. Yes adufashe. May the Lord The things of the Lord are from the spirit to the physics and tangible. Iyo dukene kwinjira muri material neza. When we want to enter in the material, we need to search it. We search it in spirit. Yes, I do fash. Let the Lord help us. Ubundi Normally, I'm going to talk about the kind of prayers we'll pray this way. Nubwo tuzasengera ubukungu tukiga ubukungu, ndavuga mu masengesho jambo ry'Imana ritubwira usibye kuyasenga mu cumwiru n'ubuzima bwa zo mugomba gusenga. I will talk about one of the prayers we need to pray every time not only on Sundays we need to pray it for our finances to be Amasengesho ya mbere umukristo umwana w'Imana agomba kubazi gusenga. The first kind of prayer as a Christian a son of God needs to know nisengesho ryitwa kwigeza it is sanctification ndavuga amasengesho nko munane it is a prayer of sanctification i'll talk about eight prayers ituma nyakoroho naza dufasha kwinjira muri biriya the reason why i'm talking about this they will usher us entering in the finance restoration isengesho ryo kwigeza a prayer of sanctification turabana b'Imana we are sons and daughters of God. and we are servants of the Lord. but the word we are in ikunda kuduteza ibazo bigatuma ducumura puts us in troubles and we see bityo bigasaba ko therefore rimwe na rimwe sometimes tugirana imibana itari myiza n'Imana we have a bad relationship with our God niyo mpamvu rero that's why iri sengesho ari ari ingeze this kind of prayer of sanctification iri sengesho ryo kwiyeza we need to sanctify ourselves cyo twita repentance we need to repent iryo sengesho turisanga muri zaburi ya mirongo we will see this prayer in Psalm 51. Whereby David was praying it. Often but for the people who will write, they will write it down. We are not going to read it. Again. When David sinned, the song he used to sing in praise of the Lord, he changed his prayer. Bamaze kumubwira makose kwa samanyisha umugore wabana. After telling him that he forgot someone else he changed his prayer. Asengi ryo kwihana cyangwa ryo kwiyeza. And he prayed a prayer of repentance. akomeye cyane. And he said Aravuga ngo mwamunyeze. He said my lord purify me. Icaha nagikoze. I sinned against Niko byagenze. This is what happened. Amagambo yavuze yose. The word that he said. Yakiye mwe bice bine. We are divided in four parts. Irya mbere yiye he accepted his sin and he took the responsibility and he said my sins are before me he did not say that I forgot when we want to repent we need to show our Lord that we are weak we are very weak before him when you have said that we are nothing that's when the power of God comes down he said on verse 4 and my sin is always before me but my Lord 
kukiran kwa kwao you are here by your righteousness to, to, to show your righteousness the second amaze kwemera makosa after repent accepting his sin the christians of today when they have Ashakish seen impamvu, they will search a reason they will search excuses and they will say they Adam like to be Adam said that I ate the fruit because of the wife you gave to Ariko, me but when David was told he did not talk about the lady he said my sins I constantly before but even if they are telling us and you start to search for excuses that are going to cover the sin. Normally the character of Christian, a son of God, any kind of fault that you you need to accept yours even others. What David did, he said my sin is constantly before me and I accept it. I am not discussing. The second, the second, what he was saying in Psalm 51 when he said he showed that though he he made all this he told the Lord I know you are able to sanctify me on verse 3 let's read Psalm 51 Psalm 51 51 Ariko nari rimwe ramwe biravuga ngo gukiranuka kwacu kujya kugaragara ku bushwambagara imbere y'amaso y'Imana. But the Bible says that even our righteousness is like a toil cloth before the Lord. Mirongo 5 na rimwe. Psalm 51. Aha. Ku murongo wa 4. It is on verse 4. Unyuhagire rwose gukiranirwa kwanje unyeze unkureho ibyaha byanje. Aha mu icyongereza shobora kuba ari mu murongo wa 2. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. He showed that though he had fell, fallen in a sin, he knew that his God could forgive him and cleanse him. The third. He said, I sinned against you, my God. And he showed the way he was weak before the sight of God. Four. He put it himself in the hand of God. In our lives, normally, we encounter things that are difficult. But we need to search a time when we say to the Lord, I am weak, by that reason, forgive me. Job chapter 1, verse 8. Satan, Iman, I've got Satan, and I've got you, and I've got you, and i the Lord told Satan, have you seen my righteous, my righteous person Job of no, the world? Though the Lord acknowledged him. But the Bible says that every evening when he, he, would go home, he will go on the altar and ask for forgiveness. These are the kind of prayers that has to be in the altar of Christians. These things are done by people who have two characters. People who know to humiliate themselves before the Lord. And they know how to be broken before God. Hallelujah. When you do not know how to be blessed before God, anytime you do not know how to humiliate yourself, you will never, never pray that kind of You will argue, you will bring test, uh, people to witness you, or maybe you are going to go to the court. But a real Christian, praise the Lord, these kind of prayers you can make them easily for we are clothed with uh, flesh we can do things. this is why we have these kind of prayers the other prayers prayers of thanksgiving or praising the Lord 
I'm not yet on the prayers that people do like. I'm talking about prayers Ari that are not edifying many people, but you need to know about them because they are important. Praising prayers. These are prayers only where you praise what the Lord has done. A real Christian. There are things the Lord has done in their lives. Before, Before they pray for anything else, they acknowledge what the Lord has done. The Bible tells about three things that are important. Three things that the, the Bible talks about. That about. There are three things that the Lord did. He did it personally. Any kind of son of God needs to do that. The first it is the salvation that you are given. It is an act that is not And there is no one else that is it. There are three things we, we utter in Kinyarwanda. They are praising. And they are, they are thanking, praising, and worshiping. We can you can thank everyone but praising it is a higher praise that is given to someone who has made something that is special and it is in that praise that is it is only the Lord who is no one can be praised. Though the president or someone else is higher, the, Lord, the, the word of God are do to the we can thank the Himbaziman, but we cannot pray. We need to pray for the three Ni things. It is only the Lord who can do it. No one can do it. It is only the Lord who can do it. No one can do it. It is only the Lord that we need to praise because He is the only one who is worth it. The first thing is He is the only one who is worth it. The first thing He did to give a salvation to the people. The first thing He did to give a salvation to the people. The first thing He did to give a salvation to the people. The first thing He did to give a salvation that act no one else in the world may it be your uncle may it be your uncle the salvation you have there is no one else who did it no one remembered you no one loved you that's the reason why the word of God says that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him who is not going to perish is going to have life the Lord gave you life no one else can give you life there is no one who you to you to tell your God I praise you because you gave me life because the life so that in it yes. when we perfect the Lord, we are living and when you die no, we are living so we are eating the life we are not going to get out of it we are going to continue in it that's why we have to need to have prayers of praising <laughs> we are always murmuring and complaining. And the second reason, the second reason we need to praise God, it is how He trusted us and gave us a calling. Because the salvation brought us to be the sons no, of God. No, After that, he made us servants of him. According to the calling he gave to us. The calling that we are given has nothing to do with people. The Lord calls you to speak with people and you sing for him. Others are shepherds. The calling that we are given, no one will give it to you. That's the reason why you need to say, Lord, I praise you because I am your son. That's why Paul said, I thank the Lord because he trusted me and he gave me his work. He is the one who called us, no one else. The third, 
He gave us blessing in Christ Jesus. The one the Lord has prepared before. It is in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. There are blessings that are prepared for us. All those blessings from us. You are, not, you are not going to earn them when you're doing your business. You are not going to have them in your business. Not because you went to school. Those blessings. He gave them in Christ Jesus. That's why. You need to say, God, I thank you for the blessings you gave to me. I praise you. I would talk about those blessings, but I don't have time. There are kind of blessings that the Lord can provide and no one else can give them. Those are prayers of praising the Lord. You may be a poor person without a car, without anything. You are required to praise your Lord because of the three things I just said. Those three things you need to do a is a real Christian. He has an important reason to praise the Lord. And the third prayer is, are we together? Yes, <laughs> May the Lord help us. The third prayer is, Prayers of worshiping God. Those prayers of worshiping the Lord are not there for He did something for us. We worship the Lord because He is worthy to be to be worshipped. We need to have prayers of worshiping the Lord. When you worship the Lord, you glorify the Lord. Why do we worship the Lord? We are not worshiping the Lord because uh-uh. He gave us. There are three reasons the Bible tells us of worshiping the Lord. We, we praise the Lord because he did something. But we worship him. We worship him because of who he is. The reason why we worship the Lord. For he is the creator of heaven and earth. For the Bible says that whatever exists has existed because the Lord allowed so. It is in, uh, in, uh, in Revelation 8. The first reason we worship the Lord for he is the creator. By that reason, every creature has to worship him. Where people are different from the creatures. We praise him for what he did. But all the creation has to worship the Lord because he created them. When a bird flies in the morning and he can just see he's worshiping the Lord. He's telling God, I, I worship you because you created me a bird and I'm flying over the When the waters are flowing, in the rivers. They are saying, thank you Lord for you created me to be flying. When trees are doing this, by the wind, they are saying, I worship you my Lord. When the wind is from the east to the west, they say, I am worshiping you. In the system that the Lord created, all creation with human beings has to, create, has to worship because he is the creator. The, reason, the, the, the problem is that animals are worshiping the Lord and as human beings You have no time to worship your God and to glorify your God. The reason the second reason the Lord is the king of heaven and earth. He is the only one that rules heaven and earth. All the people on the earth and you, you forget about districts and provinces but the authority and the leading of the Lord is above all. The third we worship the Lord because he is God. 
The Lord in his nation has no fault. He is holy. He has no bad bad thinking. He is the only one that is holy. We are his sons and daughters, but we do fall and error. But the Lord, because he is holy, is the third reason we need to worship him. For in his principles, he will never never be unrighteous. Never. He is holy forever and ever. In the revelation. The, the four creatures and, and the old 24 they always bow down before the Lord and saying eat every day and every morning what they say they say you are holy you are holy you are holy as they see it they keep on seeing the holiness and the greatness of the holiness of the Lord and they say they answer they say you are holy you are holy. That's one of the reasons that pushes all creatures in the human being. We need to have we enough time of worshiping the Lord because he is holy. Let's read in Revelation the reason why we worship the Lord. Revelation 4 Revelation 4 Yohana yavuze aho hantu yingenze Revelation 4:8 to 12 Bicya bine umurongo w'umunane Chapter 4 Revelation verse 8 Ibyo bizima uko ari bine byare bifite amababa batandatu batandatu byuzuye mu maso y'impande zose no munda Ntibiruhuka kumanywa na nijoro ahubwo bihora bivuga bati gute Uwera, uwera, uwera. Ni wewe mwami imana ishobore byose. Niyo yahozeho kandi iriho izahora ku murongo wa 9 akavuga ngo ibyo nibyo ibyo bizima. Biha icyakiye ku intebe ihoraho iteka ryose icubahiro no guhimbaza nishimwe. Baba kuri 2024 nibizima 2024 rikubita imbere yiyicaye kuri iyo ntebe bakayiramya ihoraho imbere ya iyo ntebe ivuga bati mwami wacu mana yacu ukwiriye guhimbazwa icubahiro no guhimbazwa nubutware koko kuko ari we waremye byose igituma biriho kandi catumye biremwa nuko wabishatse haleluya turumvikanye baravuga ngo ni we wenyine ukwiriye guhimbazwa they said you are the only one to be honored you are the one to be honored for you are holy. All creations need to worship him. For, for them to be there is because you are loud so. Praise the Lord. The fourth prayer it is a prayer of begging or asking. It is a prayer of request and we love it as Rwandans. It is in Matthew 7, uh, 4, 7 to 10. And to 11. Where the Lord said we need to ask. That prayer as the sons of God. The Lord allows us to ask him and he will provide what we are asking for. That kind of prayer we are going to use it in this week. For so the Lord agrees that he can give us what we need when we pray according to how he wants it. Matthew 7 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 Ariko hari conditions zigenda zijana na buri sengesho tugomba kwitondera dusoma iri jambo Yesu yabwiye abigishwa We want to read the word the Lord Jesus told the disciples uh -huh. Matthew 7 Karindu kuno kuri karindu 77 Musabe muzahabwa mushake muzabona mukomange kurunge muzakingurirwa kuko umuntu wese usaba ahabwa ushatsa abona nuko amanga kuruga kingurirwa mbese muri mwe hari umuntu umwana we 
ya sawa mutsima akamuha iki ibuye cyangwa ya musaba ifi akamuha inzoka kumuri babi kandi mukaba muzi guha abana banyu ibyiza none se wo mwishuru tazabura guha ibyiza ababi musabye turikum are we together habana bimana as children of god ijambo ry'imana ritwemera yuko ico dukeneye the word of god agrees that whatever we need tugomba kugisaba imana we need to ask kandi imana yemera kuduha ibyo dukeneye and the lord agrees to give it to Ar- us Ar- but there are four things that the word Imani of God shows that the Lord applies before Chane, he gives Chane, us answers, especially when we ask Ilyambe. the first we it is because you as a child wa God, you need to have a good relationship with your father the Lord for the, the prayer of a sinner it is an abomination before the sight of God the Lord wants us to pray when we have a good relationship the second the prayer that is agreed by the Lord is a request that we have placed when it is in the will of God. Sometimes we bring requests that are not according to the will of God. That's the reason why Jesus told the disciples in Matthew 6 verse 10 in that prayer. He said, thy kingdom come, whatever you need may it happen. When we do something that is against the will of God, though you fast for the whole life of you before he gives you an answer he will search and see if it is according to his will and if not he will say though you ask for this you are not worth it and you pray and he will not answer that's when you can guess that it is not according to the will of God. The third, Jesus told it to the disciples. You need to pray with faith. When you ask for something, believe that the Lord has granted you that thing. And that's why he told the disciples when they were about to pray, Mark 14, 22, I tell you the truth, whatever you may pray for in my name, you will get it if you have faith. Sometimes we pray, but without faith. And you will say, I prayed, but I don't really believe we will see. Maybe if, it, if, it, if I don't get a cow, it is going to be a calf. Sorry? Uh, you prayed for a calf? But now we are saying that maybe it is going to be a cow. That's why the Lord Jesus said that whoever has doubt is like a wind on an ocean. When you are about to pray to the Lord, just create faith in you and then ask. I was talking about the condition of the Lord for uh, requesting or giving a reply to your request. We need to request it in the name of Jesus Christ. The line or the channel that the Lord uses for our answer, it is through Jesus Christ. That's why Paul says, all the blessing we earn are from Jesus Christ. After Christ Jesus, we have no God. We are allowed to pray such prayers and the Lord can hear us. But it requests from us that we have the three things. The fifth prayer it is a prayer of intercession. 
insisting there is a time when we pray and the Lord grants you for what you're praying for, but there is a time when you pray you need to supplic- persist. Tugakora supplication. You persist and you supplicate. Ayo masengesho niyo ana ya senze muri samweli igice cha mbere murongo wa kabiri. These are the kind of prayers that Anna, Anna prayed when she was praying for Samuel. In our life, there are things because of their value that the Lord does not grant easily. Ask that you supplicate, you insist. So many people, they pray to God, but they are not persisting. The Lord leave them. Yeah. Samuel did not come out of prayers of requests and asking. He was out of prayers of supplication. But the Bible says that Anna continued to pray and she was persisting. When she went to Shiloh, she would pray into her heart. One day, Eli the, the thought that she was drunkard. When she prayed, Anna, it was not a simple request. It was a persisting prayer. She was persisting. And she insisted. And she said words. And she was quiet before the sight of God. And she poured her pain after one year a second year and she said I will not leave this place unless I have my son the Lord look unto her in the way she was praying and she she didn't want to leave the church and he said there is nothing else I can do unless to give a Samuel one of the things that is difficult in our lives it is the time we don't bear with what the Lord is about to do with us. You bring a request if two, of two days and when it fails and you are pissed off and you leave it. Yet you are on the border of getting them but you leave them. But I would like to tell you that in your life, there are things that the Lord is not in good to for you. Kwa 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 but when you get to the time Imani of kwa persisting, the Lord will say, kwa when, you persist, when you persist, you're going to get it, but if you fail, you're not going yes, to get it. Yes, kwa kwa the Lord Jesus preached the in Luke 18, in telling them about the king, the master who are not respecting people, even the Lord. And he said there was a king who was not obeying the king. But a widow came to him. She will come every morning, every evening. At a certain time, he said, when is she going to stop? And he said, though I do not respect the Lord and do not respect the people, I believe that lady needs my justice. He said, and the Lord said, he, if someone who does not respect the Lord could plead for the widow, now how not the Lord is not going to receive that ask from him day and evening. Truly, the Lord will come at our rescue. But this is going to come only if you are on the altar for a long time. Not for a quiet moment. For five minutes, for thirty minutes. For one hour and a half. I will tell you this. People who stay in prayer. They have special gifts from the Lord that other people can get. The longer time you spend with the Lord, you earn things that other people do not see. But the people who run, when they start to pray, and they are getting and they are feeling like there is something itching them, they were having trouble. We 
kwinginga imana we need to supplicate with the lord ugira umwanya wo kwicara imbere y'amasuima urambye utuze have time to sit with the lord and pray hanara rambije nzaba hanga hayishiro and i said i will stay in shilo i will pray imyaka yose and i will pray for you until i have a story nta bindi tuganira ama samuel i'm not going to go to us imbere y'amasoyima she was quiet before the sight of the lord turebe neze ukuntu dusenga let us check well how we pray uko twirukanke imbere y'amaso y'Imana twita tugenda the way we are running before the sight of God until we leave his place and his presence bigaragaza urwego ki Imana ishobora kudusubizamo will show us the kind of level the Lord is going to reply to us ariko na ushera mu gaciro if you look it properly umuntu ashobora gusaba ikintu you may ask for something yarangiza kuvuga ki gendera and then they will go akamara icumweru he will spend one week akaza no ntavuga n'ikija cyambe akavuga ikindi they will come back and they will ask for another thing uvuga ati umuntu afite akajagari mu and then the person is no, going to take as a confused person now what he has come to fashion he hasn't yet the shoes and they go back icumwe aragarutse next week they come back ukampi shirt i need a shirt and they go back ikindi icumwe arakaza the third week they come no no nkeneye kanzu i need a dress ngiruka icyo wamusubiza What are you going to give to them? What are you going to start with? Usanga turuza ibyifuzo byinshi. These people are bringing different kind of requests. But because they don't have the time, they can't get any answer before the Lord. Kwige gutuza. Let's learn to be quiet and calm. Usenga Imana dutuje. And pray to the Lord when we are quiet. When we are not rushing. Wundi birababaza iyo twiha amasaha ngabiri cyangwa se uri mu wahe mu rugo ya gusenga iminota ingahe ariko ubundi twagombye kwiha amasaha kuja gusenga ndi twiha amasaha guta ndavuga mu masenga shapana hano I'm talking about when we have prayers sometimes we give us time kuganira naso for if you want to go and converse with your father you are not going to tell your father that you're going to talk with him for 10 minutes only okay. i have come to speak with my father we are going to converse whatever he's going to give to me i'm going to accept and if he allows me to go back i will go back usanga umuntu aja mu kabare you see a person going to a pub have gisata here they will not say about the time of leaving the park maybe they will spend 3 hours gusenga mu cumba but when they get in their room for praying we say after 30 minutes i'll be done witeguye ko ijimana ikubwira biha no minota 30 are you ready for the we have to be garagaza imitekere siko ari formal tugiye gukora It is like a kind of formality that you're going to do. Tugi, 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 tugi. For you do not know what you're going to do. Tabo avuga ngiye kora na president. You will not say that you're going to meet the president. Me and then in 30 minutes you come back. Uza gusubiza ryari? You don't know when he's going to call you. Abantu batanzwe inga nuko basenga. This is how the people praise. Yes, Ashim. Kintu biraremere. It is heavy, right? irya karindwe and the seventh niyo tugeze ya gatandatu six isengesha abantu benshi batumva ariko gusenga rimwe na rimwe mu ndimi praying in tongue wige sengesha urira hawa that kind of prayer exists shaka kuri sobanura ho gatoye i can explain a little bit hari ge dusenga imana sometimes when you pray in tongue ugiye ahantu mu mwuka and you feel that you are entering a realm of spirits and you feel like you are at ease icyo gihe ugatangira kugera gute kuvuga kundimi and you start speaking it is different icyo gihe when you talking about that, it is not your mind that is praying it is your spirit that is communicating with God and that prayer is sanctifying your life after that prayer you feel well and you are not you not your mind. but you will not tell someone that you have been praying for this and this 
Maybe I was praying for the construction. Wagera hano kumvumerebe neza. And then you feel well. Utangira kuja umurezansa yima. And you feel that you are in the comfort no, of no, the Lord. Nono gatangira ni ndimi gusa. And you speak in tongues. Kamara nk'imino ata 20 and You spend 20 minutes. Wamuru gatanga amen. And then you say Abantu amen. benshi bakibaza ise biri ya bintu nibiki? Then people will wonder of what is happening. Are masenga shubirara yemera. Those kind of prayer. Imana ibikuze yemwe mu mwuka. When you are being a place of spirit and you feel that you are in spirit and you feel that you want to wait at that time your mind is not praying it is your spirit that is praying and you are being sanctified in spirit and you are getting closer to the Holy Spirit of the Lord but sometimes people think a lot and they think that you are going to heaven when you speak but praying in tongue is, is a phenomenon that is really common and there is nothing difficult in that as a child of God the seventh prayer uh, deliverance. deliverance prayer that prayer when can it be done it is in a time when you need to deliver things. There are some prayers that the Lord Jesus made in deliverance. People think that we can only deliver demon possessed. But deliverance, it is when you, 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 you save something. You can deliver a life of human beings. You can deliver their wealth and their things. You can deliver their mind and thinking. You can deliver their lives. These are kind of deliverance prayers. Those prayers are used when you see a person in slavery. And you need to take them from there. That's what tells us that was the first to deliver us. It is in it Revelation 1, 6. He delivered us from the slavery of sin. And Paul told Romans. And he said that the Lord has freed us from the slavery. Christ alone made our deliverance. He took us from the slavery of the devil. He took, he took us from his kingdom. It is a deliverance he made for us. It is a, deliver, a spiritual deliverance. After that, the word of God allows us to do deliverance as well. We can deliver our soul. We can deliver our thinking. A person can be saved, but their mindset not delivered. We will come on it. When the Lord heals us, spirit, He delivers our mind as well. And it is unbounded. And we have the mind that is according to Christ's mind. And the fourth thing is it is our things. This is what we are looking for. We are delivering our things. You may be saved, but the things you need to have, the wealth you need to have, you can't get it. And we need to, lead to deliver our things. Or maybe you are saved, but you are always sick. Every time of your life, you don't have life. You don't have health. For the, the, the devil has enslaved you and we deliver it. The deliverance is not only on demons. The many aspects of our life when it is necessary we need to deliver them. But we need to know well that they are bound. Because sometimes there are people who say that they are going to do deliverance. And the person is healthy. They have no problem. And they say, I'm going to do deliverance. No. You do a deliverance when there is a bondage. One time some people rose, And they told the man that they want to deliver the wife. 
And they say, why? And they said she's not well. And he said you can come and see her. They came and prayed. They prayed. And then they prayed. And she said, I am safe. And we are living together. What is wrong with me so that they deliver me? And after they were confused, they they started to beat the wife. (laughs) Beating her. And she was hurt. She, she was a white woman and she was really Ari, wounded. And she killed herself. I am being beaten better to die. And then he was asking, are you delivering my wife when you're killing her? I am leaving the church. I am going to put you in jail. My wife was okay. She was praying. Now you are about What have you delivered from her? We do a deliverance when we know there is a bondage there. When Jesus shares away the demons in the man in Mark 5, that man was living a he was in chains. Demons that were possessing him will use him to do yes, things. When Jesus went there, he saw that he was bound. And he said, I'm going to deliver you. As he said that, the demon said he is going to chase us away. He, he said, I am chasing you and away. He and he unbound his person. And they asked him, Why, when you are chasing us away, where are we going? we've been living in this human person. Now you are taking him away from us. Where are we going to go? And then they asked the Lord Jesus to, okay. to send them in the pigs that yes, were there. Again. And he said, go there. Sometimes the prayers of deliverance it is necessary to know very well these things is bound or not. And we know the kind of prayer we are going to do. And we are saying that we are going to untie, we are going to take it from where and to put it where. And it is clear. The last uh, intercession prayers. These prayers are uh, intermediary prayers. We are, we are mediating between things. It is when we are standing before God and people. Intercession. We can intercede for a land and nation. We can intercede for people. We can intercede for the ministry of God. This is when you have decided to be between God and the things you are praying for. Sometimes we ask for forgiveness. Sometimes we ask for blessings. It is in that time that the intercessor, the person that is in between, is a person that is neutral, that is between God and the things he is praying for. There are four people who make such a prayer, but I will talk about them. Yes, we are intercessor one Jesus is the first intercessor. It is in John 17. The prayer he prayed when he was praying for his disciples and the people living on earth. Daniel is and the prayer of Daniel, he was praying for his land. He was doing intercession. 
Undi muntu wasenze Mose Burye yasenga gasengera ubwoko bw'Imana Ahagaragati Imana nabantu Undi muntu wakoze intercession Ni Ibrahim Umuza sengera Sodoma na Gomora Witangirira ibico 18 Yakoze intercession Yahagaze hagati y'Imana Ahagaragara na Sodoma Arayisengera Agera ku rwego bumvikana n'Imana the reason why Sodom was demolished it is because the number Abraham said when he found on five five people would have been found if he could have found five Sodom wouldn't have been destroyed I would like to tell you I believe that we have many intercessors but I want to tell you three things that are real intercessors a real intercessor that can stand in the gap before God and people has to be alone accepted by the Lord. Have a good, a good relationship with the Lord. That's when the Lord can hear us. You can be a sinner. You can't be a sinner and pray for sinner. sinner. You are guilty. How are you going to pray for other guilt? You can't be accepted. The reason why Moses was accepted in the Exodus and the Exodus Muri kuba ibice 14 asengera Isiraheli nuko Imana yemeraga Mose bakaganira kandi ntacho bafaga bari bafitanye imibanire myiza na Mose bituma Imana imwemera igihe cyose Imana yavugaga Mose na we yaravugaga Imana ikamwumva yarafite imibanire myiza n'Imana rya kabiri ni muri umwe intercessor you need to love enough the people you pray for. If you are about to pray for Rwanda, you need to love Rwanda. It is sad to say that you are going to pray for a land when you don't love. If you pray for Congo, you need to love Congo. If you pray for me, you need to love me. 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 The intercession needs to be the land you pray for. You need to have a pattern for it. You need to love it. Sometimes when you go in intercession, we are going to intercede for the ministry of God. They are fighting for it and they are going to pray for it. It is contradictory. Those prayers are not heard by the Lord and it is not easy. If we are going to pray for it, just leave that place. Before you intercede, before you intercede, if you don't love that person, you need to pray to love them. If it is the work of God, you need to love it. If it is the nation, you need to love it. You need to feel it in you. And then you are going to tell God, forgive Rwanda. Uplift Rwanda. I love it. Do I love Rwanda? Most of the people who are in Rwanda, when Moses was with God, once God uh, was talking with Moses and the Lord told Moses that he's going to destroy others and leave him. And he said, the way I love them, I cannot allow you to kill them. Never. You can't kill them. Any time that we are going to be intercessors, we need to love what we pray for. It is sad when we call ourselves intercessors and we pray for things we don't even believe. The third, an intercessor do not pray for himself and for his prophet. You put your prophet aside. And you say, I'm going to pray for the work of God. This is the things of the Lord that are before you. The Bible says that Jesus he never looked on his godliness. He will look on the church. And then he'll forget about everything else. He will live about his glory. His godliness behind. And he will look at his church. Anything has been behind. When he was about to pray for the Lord for the people. Instead of going and and my prophet came again. And these people are behind. You are going to. You are going to. 
need to take our profit behind. You need to forget about your benefits. Daniel Daniel that it is the, the prayers of Daniel. He never prayed he, for himself. He never prayed for his promotion. He never prayed for him to be uplifted. He will say, your people, my God. This is my pe- your people, God. Forgive your people, my God. Every time he prayed, he never talked about himself. Then we call ourselves when we pray for things on our own benefit. It is nothing, we are not intercessors. Intercessors, do you hear me? A real intercessor will take the, the things he needs to pray for front, and he will forget about himself. But when the Lord is about to reply, he will look on to everything. He will look on to the sacrifice he made of praying for my work. Before I do anything to my work, I will remember that. Yet. That's how the Lord operates. But when you bring your kids in front of it, and you prove that you have a child, everything is going to be lost. This is how the Lord operates. May our Lord help us. May the Lord bless us. Let's re- uh, learn how to pray. And every time, the Lord is going to bless us. Can you stand up as we pray? And I believe we only spoke about prayers. Tomorrow we are entering the final There are prayers that we are going to make. The reason why I brought prayers it is to help you in your prayers in, when you know what kind of prayer to use in our daily life we will tell our God to teach us how to pray. Let's pray to God. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are before your sight this evening. You taught us how to pray every time. And our prayers has to show everything that can hinder. But now we beseech with you, Lord, teach us how to pray. Anytime we will be before your altar, let our prayer be accepted by you. Teach us how to pray. And how we bring our requests. We are bringing them before your sight. Lord, we thank you for being with us. And we thank you for hearing us. And we thank you for your teaching us how to pray. In our lives. In this season, in the season of prayers, even in our daily life, give us to be your sons, daughters, and your servants that knows how to pray effectively, that can pray in truth and spirit, that can pray through the word, and we pray by faith in Jesus our King. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you so much.